Hi there, Reject Nation. I'm Greg Alba. What is your name, my dear? I'm Courtney Wright. Courtney Wright is back on the channel and is the first guest of the year. Yay! Courtney, how, how was your day? It was great. That's yeah. a good answer. Yeah, I had a good day. I had a good day, too. Thanks for asking me back. I'm glad. You know, you, you didn't even give me a chance. I was I, moving into that. I get that complaint a lot when mm -hmm. I complain mm -hmm. at people. <laughs> so, <laughs> Courtney, I know through my brother, Jabby Kawe, who, as of just a couple days ago, has officially passed 100,000 subscribers. <laughs> 100, a few years 000? in the making, he's finally doing it. You know, I'm always like... Wait to catch up, older brother. You'll get there soon, don't worry. You're trailing little by little, but one day you'll hit some stride of momentum. Mm -hmm. A whole hundred? A whole hundred, I know, right? I know. Might be a little bit more. A long time ago, he actually uh, visited the Aquaman set, which surprises me because at the time he only had 50,000 subscribers. So <laughs> he visited <laughs> the Aquaman set. Why would they want? You know what I mean? I know, just, like, why not me? <laughs> that this guy, this guy's gonna make it to He's gonna make it one day. Apparently he had a vlog go up that he was finally allowed to post. It's kind of a lengthy one. I don't think I've ever watched anything this long from my brother, especially his reactions. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I gotta be honest, I was looking forward to it because when he went to that, when I found out he was in Australia on the Aquaman set, I was a little, I was pretty jealous. I'm I was pretty lie. jealous too. You know, I can admit that. I resented him for a while <laughs> and I still kind of do, but hey, that's life, right? Let's get to it and find out how exciting was his day. Uno dos tres. A huge thanks to Warner Brothers for sponsoring this video. Well, it's not real. Hey, it's what? like in the movie. Oh, real. hey! So, uh, we're on a recreation of Italy here. Uh, what's what's the city oh, what? called again? Edice. <laughs> we're on a fake version of Edice. Yeah, in the opera. Oh, okay. right, right. oh, yeah, if you look yeah, around, yeah. this is like I saw one to one <laughs> what Edice looks like, <laughs> except for the signs. Apparently, the signs are deliberately misspelled for Italians who are watching the movie, so they can have a little chuckle while they're watching the action sequences. There's going to be a chase sequence that happens here, with uh, I'm not sure with who. But I know it's going to be an awesome chase sequence in the middle of Aquaman Ooh. with Amanda. Who's Amanda? They're just shouting things at me now. Manta. It's going to be with Manta. <laughs> I'm gonna the They're just going to destroy the town. They're going to level it. It's going to be amazing and beautiful. I'm excited. Who's Amanda? Who's Amanda? Grab the plant again. Ooh. Oh. What is the get Hello sample? people, I'm okay. Javi Kuei. I'm here on the set of Aquaman. Warner Brothers flew myself and a bunch of YouTubers out. You can see them right there in Video Village. They're all kind of like looking at me, which is nerve wracking. They all have way more subscribers than I do, so I'm the little guy here. Right now we're watching Jason okay. Momoa do a fight scene. One of the that things guy. I learned really quickly is how much of a perfectionist he is. He's trying to get it just right. I'm learning a lot. They're shooting it in slow-mo, so they can like ramp and stuff like that, because they're shooting at 48 frames per second. As a person who loves fight scenes, it's great to start out with watching a fight scene being shot. Dude, this is like so cool that you get a beat. So this is my friend Tiff. <laughs> I know. Tiffany. Tiffany she Smith. represents DC. He's fighting Black Manta, which is the coolest thing ever. But Jason looks awesome. He's like flipping his hair. And no, he doesn't. Pretty. Than he that. looks pretty sick. He looks so he's like than that. doing that kind of thing. I'm glad that so, you did that yeah. embarrassing thing because I did. You know. Do you know who she is? Hair. She's cool. No. Who had the vision that you came should. through? Zach actually asked for me. I was like, there's no way they're gonna hire me for Batman. This is a joke. He's like, you know why you're here? And I was like, I probably play one of the bad guys. <laughs> Assuming some bad guy. He goes, nope, I want you to, this is a character I want you to play. And I'm, I kind of thought maybe it'd be Lobo. I like motorcycles, smoking yeah. cigars. Oh, yeah. 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 Heard Batman and Superman. I was like, it's a perfect job. And then he's like, I want you, nope. He's like, Lobo, I'm, no, not Lobo. I was like, I love you. <laughs> but there's Lobo aspects in Aquaman, so. He just was like, I want you to play Aquaman. I had no idea. Was, wow. It took, it took me a while to say anything, because I was just like, blonde, blonde, blonde. Yeah, orange, green, <laughs> orange, green, green blonde, right? white, 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 <laughs> white. I was like, and then he told me that he wanted to take my tattoos and put them everywhere. Kind of, you know, dawned on me that's super important, obviously, to our Polynesian cultures and a lot of brown skin to represent Aquaman is, is, is nice. an honor. Mm -hmm. I was wondering about these tattoos when I saw, cool. when I saw the film. Oh, we know it's oh. a stunt double. I know, I was about to say, stunt double. I was like, Black Manta, how you changed? Out to shoot and whatnot. 
Fantastic, man. It's been yeah. so long. Yeah, how are you, man? How's the kid? Hey, I have like three of them now, man. What? It's crazy. <laughs> are you all out here. Yeah, they just left on Sunday to record for about a month. Yeah. Okay. So. Well, it was good to see you, man. I'm excited Pleasure, to see you. Man. Yeah, man. So. And you too. Yeah, man. How long are you come for? Look like you really caught him on camera. All right. Are you? <laughs> He's pretty good at vlogging. He is. He's so huge. He's got a talent for it. We're on stage four of the Aquaman set. They showed us how they do the underwater stuff. It's not actually underwater. They're in a, a harness, and they push the stuntmen back and forth so they look like they're underwater, and they have to be able to simulate that. Hmm. So if I look like Wally, that's okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretending like he's treading water. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Graceful. Cool. And right <laughs> I know. <laughs> he looks like he's synchronized, maybe. And he's doing the butterfly. Like, that's, that's hard. That's a fine ass. Yeah. I have that same shirt, so I keep thinking it's me. Do I use my personal? <laughs> I think it's going to work. Secretly, I think. Yeah. Three, two, one, Damn. go. Whoa. Throw the other way. I felt that in my. <laughs> Let's do that again. Look at him with a serious ass face. <laughs> Like that all day long with that. <laughs> that works your body like crazy, man. Like you have to have good abs for that stuff. I felt it. I definitely felt it. I think they should introduce that uh, at gyms as a new exercise because uh, they'll get, you know, toned really quickly. Looked like so, it was all ab work. So this is yeah. Jade, one of the stunt coordinators on Aquaman. He rigged me up in this thing. What was it called again? The tuning fork. The tuning fork. Now, how did you come up with it? Well, it was used on Peter Pan. Okay. Uh, a long time ago, some of the guys that were rigging on this rigged on that, so they brought the concept to us, okay. and then we've just evolved it with different heads, different applications of it to suit this film. Now, brutal honesty, how was I on the thing? You were good. Might that. have to uh, get him on board. Ah. It's just trying to plan your diet, which is, it's a whole, there's a bunch of people that figure that I just do what I'm told, trying to work out <laughs> and get ready, because I have like my shirtless scene coming in on the 15th, so I gotta get ready for that whole thing, which you can't really bulk. You can't say really strong, you gotta trim down, you gotta be up, you gotta be down. I don't eat any carbs at all, so I can have beer. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Unless I have to get really, 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 really ripped, then I have to cut it out for like five days. But that's about it. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, handstand. It's very athletic. So one of the things I love about you these sets, that about him, right? this specifically is Idiche. It's like all the fine little details. Like you can see the nuanced little things in here. It's crazy like how real it is. Most of the stuff you don't even notice when you're watching the film. Prop people and the people who make the sets put such hard work into it. Most of this goes unnoticed. I love to just look at it and appreciate it as much as I can, like an art piece or something. Tiffany, come here. What action sequence is happening here? Apparently, a little something awesome happens with Mira over there. So basically, this is post fight scene. Uh, yeah, and that's then when he knocks the later bell. On, uh, Aquaman. Something awesome with Arthur and Black Manta. Also, yeah. who knows? When the movie comes out, it could be something totally different. I don't know. This is true. Things change all the time. It's cool. He's smart to spread out the interview. The first 52, I mean, I love what Jim yeah. Jones did with it. I had a lot of conversations with him. He came up to the house, kind of geeked out. Yeah. He drew some for my kids. We had a lot of conversations. And I was kind of inspired by him because he recreated that whole thing. Yeah. And so I know I kind of fall in the footsteps of him. Just watching him talk about it and get excited. I'm like, oh yeah, he's a badass. And he really is just this badass. Oh, he's, he's so pretty. Ruthless. He'll punch Batman know, in the right? face and he'll, he'll want to fight Superman. I look like he's, him. He's got a lot of... Mm -hmm. A lot of sides to him. That's the reason why I like it. I don't want to play the good guy. <laughs> and I don't and I don't necessarily want to play the bad guy. If we look back to the other roles I've played, I, Drogo wasn't a bad guy at all. He's actually the most honest person on that show. They just, you know, like to do things a little different. When Zach first signed me on, he was like, I want you to play Outlaw Josie Wales. He wants that loner, 
if you wanted the Western, you wanted the bad guy who was, if you wanted a good guy who wasn't afraid to kill people. He's got a bass guitar. <laughs> I know, I was wondering, I was like, why are you just singing with a guitar? So, this is an Atlantean weapon. That, Damn, uh, you gotta Richard, see all this early. I mean, you designed design all this, and right? No, no, no. He I'm did a good job. Team. You made it all. You, you, you took credit no, for I, all I, that. I just coordinate that. That's what you were just saying. We're kind of incorporating <laughs> a lot of. He never shared a thing, thing, and I, you know, I applaud that. Used elements of nature to inform the overarching sort of design aesthetic of the film. You might see these line work, you kind of see in the kind of whales. Yeah, wow. But what wow. we've tried to do on this film is um, the sort of raise the bar in terms of using lighting wow. in the guns. So these guns have all got Wi Fi. Connection. Oh, what? Wi Fi connection? Oh you were saying this had a, like a Wi Fi thing in it? It does, yeah. It plays music. No, it's just a ambient light. It's got a lighting effect that yeah. rushes through it. What's the value of this right here? The value, there's only three on the planet, so oh, it's kind of expensive. Out there. <laughs> what makes it so happy? Because like, there's weight in this thing. I can feel it like. Oh, it's solid um, fiberglass. The whole core inside. Well, they can pull those tridents off yeah. the wall. So there's three of these in the world. Oh, we've got about nine of those. I'm holding one of nine of these things. We tried to incorporate coral effects and sort of mother of pearl. Did you wow. reinforce any of the sword stuff with any material to make it better for like fight scenes and stuff like well, that? Well, this one's a, a fight weapon. Feel a difference in a way. That's and really that's soft, right? This is um, Volko, who's played by William Defoe. And it's his sword. And this Willem. is a commando weapon. These it guys have these big suits on and they sort of got a big fat bladed I think weapon. Said William. This is a training spear. You think he said, w- I he said 16, William. You know, sort of like training this is his accent, you know. Fight. How long will it take for you guys yes. to produce <laughs> one star? <laughs> so, as you can see, we illustrate first. Concept illustrators work out a brief and we'll do a 3D model of it. This piece here is a 3D prototype of one of the guns you see on the table. Yeah. So then we'd get that and we'd mold it. So you said you use a 3D printer for the different parts? We use a 3D printer. Obviously, um, we have to do it in parts. So we've got a 30 centimeter square block of space. And we'll combine those <laughs> into one piece and then mold that and make a big fat mold. Who's like the one actor that keeps trying to take their weapons? Oh, Jason's really keen on stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, he likes stuff. I'd He's want like, a trident. Oh, that, that's mine. <laughs> <laughs> and how, um, is, how do you say no to him? <laughs> you don't. <laughs> good good kind of set a tone for what I was playing in Just League, and I think James has completely changed um, what he wanted to do with this character too. I mean, we're trying to bridge that gap, but James definitely wants a, a lot more, uh, a lot more levity and fun, a lot more humor in it. So I don't think you see a lot of that. And just sleep. It came through in the commercial. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of smart ass comments. I think there's yeah. a little bit more levity in this one. Okay, gotcha. Even, even more. I'd say that. Yeah. For which one? There's multiple Aquaman suits. Yeah, well, I mean, Batman Superman. <laughs> Batman, Batman Superman, that was one. Yeah. It was like the half yeah, armor. Yeah. That didn't work at all, so he got rid of that. It would just fall off when I fought and stuff, so. I had a lot of say in what he looks like, because it was kind of, how do we dress up Aquaman when he's not in his outfit? Yeah, right. You know, he's not going to be in a polo. Dude, it must be nice so slacks, cool being in that room. Collar. He was raised by his father, and so we had him in a lot of old army stuff or old military. He lived out of his bag, and he's a bit of a wanderer and a loner, so anything that he could keep in his bag, and it was certainly military stuff, so. Kind of a little bit of a rock and roller, too. Carried all his little jewelry and stuff from all the people <laughs> he's met. Huh. A lot of That's offerings from little tribes and things, so he's got a lot of trinkets. Hmm. What's the deal with the trident? The deal with the trident. Well, because it has five on there? Yeah, that's... Wait, well, it's not. That's, I don't, how to learn? It's not a trident with five. Quindent. Quindent. So, Quindent. So, Quindent. so it's five times more difficult to learn how to use the sword. I guess so. <laughs> that's one of the problems with that. The whole point is that we're not, we haven't gotten the trident yet. So it's just kind of what everyone has down there. That weapon is something that a lot of the Atlantean soldiers have. But the actual king's trident, the one that could cut Superman's flesh, the one that... This magical, that, right? Yes, the one that wields the whole sea. Well, and yeah, the one that it comes from everything. the gods. That's the whole point of this. We're trying to get to so it. cut it's Superman like flesh. The last Crusade, you know, it's Indiana Jones' Last Crusade. We're going to so many different Set environments, up. so many different worlds. Oh, oh, oh yeah, ground. good call. We looked at a lot of colors and textures and shapes and came up with the idea of a building block. This is our basic cool building thing. block for almost every costume. It's so, yeah, a hexagonal yeah. cell yeah. shape. These are mother of pearl tiles, but everything has an iridescence. Wow. Each tile is handmade and hand painted and hand applied. We made all our own fabric. We wanted it to have a scaling effect that when it, the light yeah, hit yeah. it, it gave you that yeah. effect that fish scale has under the water. These are the actual rubbery cool. urethane. Those are really cool. cool. And then we just the line, are gorgeous. Then we just yeah. line them. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a favorite yeah. costume you've made for the film so far? 
We, well, you know, every every time we make a big costume, I think it's my one of my favorites. But we have so many of them; <laughs> they all become your favorite at some point. What's Did the challenge of you know, taking the cartoon, the animation, all this is inspiring? Aquaman's you know, orange outfit. You have to include the <laughs> mirror when she first shows up. A lot of it. that has been driven by how Jason, you know, is. You know, he's like a kind of a big guy. He's like an old knight. He's got that physicality about him. We're trying to use that under the water when he moves. He's not balletic in any way. Like he's very aggressive in his movement. We wanted to keep that in his costume. Uh, you don't like it? You, we're gonna see that in the movie. Eventually, you're gonna see it. <laughs> what about a seahorse? You're gonna see. You're gonna see that in there too. Yes. I'm codfish. Codfish? No. I might be eating codfish. <laughs> We're at this emerging point where VR is consumer accessible. You can buy one of these for a couple hundred bucks. Green is the studio and I'm doing design as we always would, but taking it to that next level now and you can see inside the set. I'm with Benjamin Donnelly who helped yeah. design the Manta yeah. ship. Yes. Okay. And I'm gonna take Damn, a look at it. Like 21. Right now. Everyone you show it to. I know. I'm like, I'm like, doing it like this how? For, for years. Yeah. These are the controls, yes. headphones. So Manta's got headphones. He's got scuba gear over here in a window to see the scenic view. This set actually came about through VR, so we designed and modeled it. We're actually making design decisions inside the set to essentially turn it into what it is now. It's just a way to get the designers into the design and essentially, you know, be able to ask the right questions. Usually you do renders, which are like 2D That's images, cool, which tell you a bit yeah. of the story. One guy does a lot of work. We actually walked around with James on the set with one of so these. He's like looking put at him in the headset the and we could just start talking about what he wanted for camera shots, which essentially that told us immediately what he needs to do to change things. <laughs> he's got a he's keyboard over here. here. He's got a cockpit thing over here. <laughs> and he's got fans in case it gets hot. It's very hot in the submarine. There's some of the water is just I didn't wow. I'd love to see that. So. I had no he's idea He's got a microwave in the corner. Yeah. Where does he keep his frozen burritos? You kind of get the idea of how he came from concept to what it's going to be in the film. I and mean, it's a constant sort of back and forth process. And yeah, really exciting to be able to use digital sort of tools like this. What's up, man? How are you? Nice to meet you. I'm from Los Angeles. Oh, all right. Yeah. Right. How's it going? Cool. Yeah. Can I get a group photo? Yeah, 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 if you want. Yeah, group yeah. photo? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. She's walking around with the guitar. It's like a safety net. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to come up with questions to ask James Wan. My first question that I was thinking was, what if we merge Fast and Furious with Aquaman? Those two worlds combined make sense. Fast Aquaman. Fa fast Aquaman, exactly. Or the Conjuring universe into Aquaman. Yeah, that's a good question. Underwater, underwater haunted houses. Underwater Conjuring. Yeah. Or Underwater Saw. Underwater that'd, that'd be torturous. Saw. That would be amazing. That would be like a really violent Aquaman. Very, very painful. <laughs> Not only to watch, but uh, to shoot as well. Exactly, yeah. yeah it'd be a Chinese torture chamber. And but the blood would just float, so eventually everything would just be red. <laughs> <And you're> exactly. <laughs> exactly. All over the lines. Anything. You just hear sound effects and things happening, but it's all in red, and it'll be artistic. We should probably not pitch that idea to him. And he won't like it. No, he won't like yeah. it. That was a good back and forth they had there. At the it end. was. That was good oh, is that it? Forth. Is that it, Courtney? That was that was sixteen minutes and forty seconds. I know, but it was pretty epic. Like I was engaged the whole time, and it was really exciting seeing all the behind the scenes and the the questions were great. Yeah, brother, I gotta tell you, did a really uh, that was really well done. When Courtney sat down, I was like, "Hey, have you seen Jabby's Aquaman video?" And she's like, "No, I haven't yet." And I was like, "Cool, I haven't seen it yet either." He wants me to check it out, and then we saw the length. And we were like, oh boy, do we really want to do this? <laughs> yep, we're going to invest this time. And we time. had to think about it. it. Yeah, we did. We, that, did. Like we that. did. It was like, it was like, uh... That really flew by. It and, did. Yeah. It was at no I was, point I was, pretty was, engaged. I, was yeah. I lost or, or you like know. Like thinking about other things or thinking this is dry. I was, I was thoroughly yeah, engaged. Yeah, I was in the whole time. Like mm -hmm. the way it was set up, I loved, like you said, like the, you know, breaking up the interview so that it wasn't Smart. just all talking, you know, including like, like the weaponry. Editing. It was a really idea. good job. Like I, I don't, I wouldn't have thought about that, but that actually yeah. was really smart to split up the interview over the video. So that what because it's like, you want to hear all that. Yeah. You but wanna... if it's all in one chunk, you might get a little dull or boring or slow exactly. down the pacing. You're just sitting there, even though Jason Momoa yeah. was super pretty. 
pretty. Just yeah. sitting there watching someone talk, especially like hearing like different cr- uh, questions from other yeah. um, bloggers may have been hard to follow, but it, the way it was structured was yes. just perfect. I was very, I was, I was like really impressed. You also vlog pretty well too. I mean, you look comfortable. Uh, I know. You look, you look comfortable. Like when <laughs> I think my I, favorite was the Peter Pan thing, like when he was doing oh, the, the butterfly. wire effect. Yeah, the yeah. wire effect. That yeah. was really cool. That yeah, was really painful. Especially the spin, you know, like yeah. the way that he he you still did it and made it look graceful. Well, that was all his martial arts skills coming into handy there. I know ballet. I think he's done a little bit of ballet. All this like balance. Yeah, definitely stuff like dancing. Like yeah, what if I don't know if you did or didn't, but like to have that background, I definitely would have loved to see some of the other people. <laughs> yeah, like, to see if they were equally as graceful. He did well, gymnastics yeah. well too, so it makes sense. Yeah, the handstand showing yeah. off. Oh, yeah, yeah, had to show, show off, off a little bit. That's you what know. he does. He shows that off. Guy. Morning, get a couple <laughs> drinks in. Me showing off, she's like, okay, okay, you're multi talented. I would have liked to have seen him laugh at some because he's a great laugh. Like, when you really get him to like yeah. honestly laugh, he's like, like when you really find something funny, like, oh. <laughs> 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 yeah. but he seemed like yeah. he was having fun though. It, it did, like, even getting to see all the, the scenes after having seen Aquaman, knowing exactly where they are, what just happened, yeah, it was really exciting. It makes you, know. you appreciate the movie even more. It does, yeah. especially like all the work that went into it, like you know yeah. the the weapons of like how like they added like the mother of pearl accents and things like that. Like Nicole Kidman's costume was my favorite. Yeah, the elements that those little meticulous things that you would never really think would be important, but they made the whole costume design. Yeah, and just like the idea of the fish scales and how like that was the basis for like the suit of armors well the funny thing about aquaman is that it gets so much flack sometimes for being like oh it's just a cgi fest when you really break it down it's a lot of cgi blended with a lot of actual like practical built elements yeah. and stuff you know i feel like there's so much to appreciate beyond just going it's a cool cgi i'm like no there's a lot of people that worked on that and this film absolutely deserves so much credit it was beautiful to watch the cg didn't take me out no, um, it, you're invested it, it, in it. It actually invited me in. I felt like I was part of this world. And I gotta yeah. say, like, I can only imagine being in that tent. Well, when you see interviews of this guy, he just seems like such a chill guy. Yeah. And you gotta think about that environment of just like, it's like this little meeting in a tent and we're all just mm-hmm. talking. We're all and gonna like listen village, to Jason Momoa you know? talk. And yeah. he's sitting there like just, just chilling, chilling out with, with his guitar. guitar. Yeah. Exactly, <laughs> like, you know, super open to all the questions. At no point in time did he give an answer that, you know, either made someone feel like, like, you know, their question was important to him. Everything yeah. was important. And all the information that he shared, he shared from a place of, like, respect. And investment. And, 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 yeah. and love. And joy of, like, the work that he's doing. And, yeah. and I love to hear about how he felt when he when Zack Snyder like approached him about being Aquaman mm-hmm. for the first time. Especially as an actor, like when you're having a meeting with someone that you go and you're going in blind, you have nothing, no idea what to expect. You go in like kind of prepared. And I, I love that he talked about the character that he thought he was there for. He thought that he was there for a yeah. villain. And to then have them present it in this different way, <laughs> like, oh, Aquaman, yeah. he would have been. He, he would have been, been, been a great Lobo. Lobo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, everybody was like, would have oh, been a good yeah. Lobo, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, Jabby. That is your birth name. Yes. Yep. <sighs> Congratulations well on going on set. Uh, I I'm proud of you. I guess. I'm not resentful. <laughs> I'm not jealous. I'm not envious. I'm still a little jealous. Oh God! You just gotta block those feelings and hope it goes away one day. <laughs> Hope to go to the set of Aquaman 2. That's what we're hoping for. That's what I'm hoping for. Yeah, I feel like I can only positively attract that if I can let go of how I wasn't invited to the set of Aquaman 1. <laughs> <laughs> but you know there's going to be Aquaman 2. There's still time. God, you know, I need WP's approval. <laughs> we're here for you, WB. We're here for you. Subscribe to The Real Rejects. Click notification bell so they do something on YouTube. Courtney Wright. That's Courtney without a U, but she does love you. I like that. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna steal that. I wrote that down before you showed up. <laughs> Courtney Wright, follow her on Instagram and Twitter. Go to Jabby Koei's channel. He could really use the boost in subscribers check right now. Check out the video, you know? Nah, you already saw it here. <laughs> I mean, you did. You did. You, you watched it with us. We were a family. We enjoyed it together. But, you know, if you want to see it again. This is fun.